What is up, guys? It's the Redstone Scientist here, and I am back with another interesting Minecraft video. I, I don't know what that was, but, um, so basically today I am going to show you, well, first I should say I started out by, uh, watching MC Mackestein, or however you say his name, I can never remember, uh, recent video on epic weapons with 3D models or something like that, and he used this interesting weapon where there should be a video of it on screen now, where he has this wand and it casts a ray in whatever direction he's looking and he says or at least he claims that it can work with 100 percent accuracy based on the player's direction now if you've worked with command blocks at all in rotations you know that's a huge deal especially since he fit it all in one command uh he's you know even using 360 blocks, you know, to test for every single degree of the player's rotation is still not 100% accurate because you can't do uh, uh, fractions of a degree. But today I am going to show you how he did this to get 100% accuracy. If you could see, I could just move my cursor just a little bit and it'll adjust. So unfortunately, this does not allow you to store the... Uh, it also, we can do uh, angles too. So the way this works is a relatively new concept, is with armor stands wearing elytras, elytras, or I forgot how you say it. But basically, whenever I hold these boots, uh, it's a slight variation on what uh, MC Mackestein did. As you can see, it's not actually perfectly straight. It's going to take uh, some fiddling with values, and by no means is this concept perfect uh, that I'm about to show you. It just, it needs some tweaking, but I'm sure the community can come up with something. So, this clock right here, all this is doing is... Testing for, uh, actually, let's start with this. So first, we're going to test for any player with a selected item of chainmail chain mail boots. Check. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is, if that's successful, we're going to sum execute at the player, summon an armor stand with a tag of ray, uh, then make the armor stand wearing an elytra. Now, that actually doesn't show up on the texture, but uh, it is wearing an elytra. And we're going to make it silent, invisible, and I thought marker would prevent that weird collision thing, uh, but th there are other ways to avoid that. The next thing is after the armor stand is summoned, we're actually going to teleport the that newly spawned armor stand to us. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make the armor stand uh, get the exact same rotation of us. So if we summon, it, so if we teleport it to here, it's going to be facing this way. Here, it's going to be facing the same direction. That's why we teleport it. Then, from there, we teleport it 15 blocks up. So it's just 15 blocks above our head with the exact same rotation. The next thing we want to do is uh, remove the ray tag. And the reason I do that is just so that uh, this operation only happens uh, one time. And then uh, we add to all armor stands that don't have a tag of ray time one. Now, what that basically does is in the first tick, we have an armor stand summoned above our heads. And when you just let it go, uh, here, let me show you here. Okay, so as you can see, there actually is this weird visual glitch. However, I'm in the latest snapshot. This wasn't happening before, uh, but there's this weird visual glitch going on. But anyway, if we teleport that armor stand up in the air, whoops, like so, you can see that it actually glides in the direction it's facing using the elytra. So what that means is, uh, since we have the armor stand assume our position, it will automatically just fly off in the direction we specify. Now, how do we get the particles to be straight? Well, uh, hold on, we add time one. The only reason I'm doing the time thing is so that I can kill it after 50 ticks. And, uh, because the armor stand is constantly falling, we are teleporting it up 0.17 blocks every tick. And that is to compensate for the drag, or the, uh, the downward momentum of the armor stand. And that is not perfect. That value needs some fiddling with, depending on what angle you're looking at. Uh, and then here, we're testing for any armor stand with a time square of min equals 10, just to uh, uh, wait for them to uh, get a certain distance from us. Then we're going to execute particle flame 13 blocks below it. So the flames are actually 13 blocks below where the armor stands are. That way we can actually get it so that we can see it in our field of view. Uh, hopefully that made sense. Uh, but basically, all it is is armor stands wearing an elytra, elytra that are being teleported up, trying to get their uh, momentum, I can show you again, to be as smooth as possible. Uh, so that is basically all there is to it. Now, again, this is not a perfect concept. It definitely needs a lot of work, but it is a very cool technique. If we go into game mode 3, 
See again, just like that. So that is how it works. I'm not going to release these command specific commands just because... Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. You can't do really upwards momentum with it because the, the Elytra is not is a glider, basically. It's not a... You can't get upwards velocity. So that's how it works. Um, it is a visual glitch, by the way, that the armor stands appear down here and not uh, up above. But the armor stands are actually up there. So that is basically all there is to it. Um, I'm sure this can be improved greatly with the help of some people in the community. Uh, but that is also how MC Macus9 did it. I learned that from his comment section. You should definitely go check him out. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out the jam pack description for more science. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.